गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अनुष बशेल एंड दिस वीडियो बी स्टडिंग फार्मेकोलॉजी फॉर माई अपकमिंग नीट पी जी एग्जामिनेशन एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग आई डेट आफ्टर वेकिंग अप वॉज क्लीन माई बेड एंड मेक माई माई सेल्फ एन ऑमलेट एंड आफ्टर दैट शावर एंड फाइनली स्टार्ट विद स्टडिंग So I've got four lectures which are left for pharmacology, and then I'm, I'm going to do one from anatomy, hopefully. So yes, that's the goal. I've already got my study table set up over here, and uh, let's set up a timer, and then we'll start studying. So yes, let's go. I'm watching lectures at 2x speed, but whenever I feel like it, I'm pausing the videos to write down the notes as well as rewinding the videos to see if I've missed something. Uh, I think that this strategy really works out for me rather than just watching the videos first and writing the notes later. I'm making my own notes because I feel that is a bit superior to using the already printed notes sometimes if when revision videos are being played. So first lecture is done moving on to the remaining four the first one was about the CNS pharmacology and my god it is so confusing there are certain drugs which i last studied in second year bbs never used in my practice over at gmc nagpur so uh, it has been a bit of a big revision session and now moving on to the antimicrobials it's like one and a half hour long abhi sare lectures bade bade hi baat ki hai so 90 minutes 85 minutes something like that overall i'm really enjoying pharmacology literally watching sir's video after i don't know years The next few lectures continued on and they were extremely long and tiring at the same time because pharmacology is one sub subject which you just have to keep on revising otherwise you'll forget. Uh so yeah, it was something new every time I was watching the lecture. But uh, no matter what, it will definitely improve uh, my scores in the long run. So yes, things which are difficult are usually the most important for you in so your I life. So I just completed the second lecture of pharmacology. It's around 3 and uh, my god the antimicrobials i now remember what a pain it was to memorize them i really don't know how I, how i'm going to remember all of them but i'm mostly focusing on the basic and the intermediate stuff uh, not so much on the difficult stuff which i'll probably leave for the later when the second or third revision starts uh, so getting to know the basics is the basic principle that i'm applying i think i'm going to stop right over here because if i keep going there will be literally no point in me watching the revision videos because uh, the mark up the blood brain barrier has become very strong at this point so nothing is permeating my uh, astrocytes and oligodendrocytes are not making any information go to the cerebral cortex so we'll stop right over here and do something which is much more fun that is surgery so surgery i'm not doing for my pg preparation i'm actually doing it because from today onwards i am beginning a workshop for surgery in my home uh, where i have invited my juniors around 27 of them uh, there were a lot more registrations but I, my house literally cannot hold more people than that so i am taking classes for surgery for the practical preparation because i feel like that is something which the students really lack especially in my college i don't know why but practical preparation is not that good so we are going to be covering almost all the important cases the top 10 cases that we are given in our vivas the jo patients hote hai for example i got a case of peripheral vascular disease as well as breast cancer in my surgery examinations and overall if you see these are the 10 cases which are most frequently asked so today my topic is breast so breast cancer and different breast diseases and uh, most importantly this is the breast cancer here and abhijit is going to take up pseudocyst of pancreas which is another important long case so i'll just have to prepare the basic ppt uh, i've got the entire thing written down in my notes but converting to ppt so that the students will have an easier time understanding and also gathering a few videos for examination which help, will help them really strengthen their basic so yeah that was the basic idea and basic mein kitna aur bol diya now let's get working for the ppt powerpoint presentation After making the slides and the PPT, I was done, and I was feeling like let's arrange the chairs because the students are going to come any time. And very soon, the entire hall was filled up by my students who were coming to learn. And teaching is something which I feel is a very important part of my life, and that's the reason this YouTube channel exists in the first place. If you go back and see, I've got lectures which I've uploaded in the start. <laughs> I would very much like to have a teaching job in the future along with my regular duties as a doctor because that is something which I feel is really connected to my heart and uh, and sharing knowledge is one of my core principles in life. I also had downloaded a few images from the internet as well as clicked a few pictures of Obelia and Love the textbook for surgery so that I could show the images to my students because aajkal Obelia padhna thoda kam ho gaya medical colleges mein. 
helping them study more efficiently the same thing was done with abhijit he made amazing ppts which he showed to all the students they were all excited and uh, yeah thoda sa nashta nashta bhi de diya tha so they were all feeling pretty happy and we were also pretty feeling pretty happy at the same time unko teen cheeze karni hai usme first of all wo history acche se dena hai uski second wo clinical examination acche se karne ka hai स्ट्रीम लेने का एग्जामिनेशन इज गोइंग टू सेकंड इज यू हैव टू डू द रेडियोलॉजिकल इन्वेस्टिगेशंस रेडियोलॉजिकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड ठीक है अलोंग विद दैट यू आस्क मी दैट ये पेट कब से खुल रहा है नीचे की थोड़ा 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 करके अब तक खुला हुआ है ठीक है तो नेक्स्ट थिंग यू विल डू विदाउट थिंकिंग इज अगेन आई विल लगाओ पता ही नहीं चला कि मेरी क्लास खत्म होते होते कैसे आठ बज गए सो आई वाज वेरी टायर्ड स्टडीइंग एंड टीचिंग ऑल इन द सेम डे सो वी वेंट आउट टू हैव डिनर आउटसाइड between the buns hmm. coming back home i cleaned up the place and tidied it up only to you know make the mess again the next day on the other class uh, but yes i had to complete the one lecture which was remaining because that was the last target for the day hello everyone so the class was beautiful we covered the entirety of breast as well as pseudocyst abhijit was here to teach the pseudocyst i was teaching the breast and the class finally ended i took a small break i went outside to have coffee and after that was done uh, finally came back home <sighs> took another break and now we are back to studying it's roughly 10 15 right now i'm starting to study the cancers uh, the anti cancer drug in pharmacology oh my god it's difficult it's really difficult so yes this is the current update and i'm feeling a bit tired because tomorrow in the morning i have to go to my rural posting at saunir so that's going to be a thing but i know we can survive i know we can manage so let's complete the pharmacology once and for all bas khatam karo yaar ab ab nahi ho raha I'm going to be taking a different approach here right now, and I'm going to be just watching the video first, and be, then I'm going to be copying the lecture notes from the Maru main notes itself. So yes, let's see what happens. The last chapter was on cancer drugs. Crazy, crazy. If you have read, you know what I mean. So yes, finally, वो भी खत्म हो गया. Like all good things. Acting at immune checkpoint. Ratifanlimab, nivolumab, dostarlimab, durvalumab, avelumab, atezolizumab, ipilimumab, semiplimab, pembrolizumab. And with that, everyone, we have finally completed Pharmac. It's currently 12:30, so the lecture was quite long. It was GIT, blood, water, coids, and whatnot. So yes, Pharmac is finally done. It took me two days to complete the, I think, 10 revision videos, nine revision videos, and one intro video. for pharmacology and i'm really really happy that we did because it's a very high yield topic and it was like in my 70 75 percentile range hopefully it shoots up to 90 by now <laughs> so let's start extremely well especially with the mnemonics and all but yeah there were certain topics like the zoom apps the moom apps and all of that i did not really get that it was really confusing so maine utna part skip kar diya but the goal is to complete the basic and the intermediate stuff jo jo difficult stuff i will we are leaving it for the second run I might look tired because I really am. If you are still watching by the end, comment. We are pluripotent, and we shall keep going. So I'll know that you watched till the end. Anyways, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't already, click that red button down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.